Well, hello, beautiful people. My name is Bridget, and welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all having an awesome day. And today's video is going to be a makeup subscription box unboxing. The first one of the month, actually. So we're comparing the base box and the premium box for March 2021 from BoxyCharm. Now, I am a BoxyCharm affiliate. They do give me a box, but I also am a customer. I have my own premium subscription and stuff, so not biased. And I'll tell you, like, last month was not good, you guys, so I'm hoping this month is better. So without any further ado, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Bless you, Azriel. All right, so usually with these boxes, I feel like I start off with the premium bigger box first. So this month, I want to start off with the base smaller box. So this is $25 a month. The premium box is $35 a month. And let's go ahead and see what's inside. This has a good amount of weight to it. And I haven't seen any previews of this month yet. So inside, we have the card that tells us the retail prices. I will also let you know the retail price of these items. Oh, there's a palette in here. So here's what the inside of the box looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and do this first little thing off the top here. So this is a wet brush cleaning system with silicone scrubbing pad from Lavish. This retails for $15. Oh, it's a little brush soap in a scrubber. Usually you see like the little brush soap in the tin. It doesn't smell like anything in particular. It just smells like a fresh cell scent. And then they have a scrubber on the inside. Now, usually you don't see a scrubber on the inside of the tin. You just see the soap in here. So this is kind of a convenient little set. So it is like a cleaning system. And it's $15. So I love having brush soap around. So I'm not disappointed in this product at all. Next up here, let's do this little orange thing. Ooh, it says setting spray on it. Ooh, okay, so this is Maven Beauty. I do follow them on Instagram, but I've never tried anything from them. This retails for $22. Is a rose water setting spray. I love a mist, you guys. I know I don't need any other setting sprays right now. This is what the bottle looks like. It kind of matches me. I can't really smell it. I'm going to un twist it and smell it, see if it really smells like super strong. So it does have a rose scent. It's not superly overly fragranced, which is something I worry about with the rose a lot. I feel like rose can be overpowering, powering, and I don't find this with this one. So this is the next thing in here, and I'm not disappointed in this at all. So, so far it's better than last month's, because I did not like last month's boxy charms, you guys, which sucks because they're usually so good. But this month's off to a better start. Now let's do the palette. This is a lime crime palette. I don't know if I've ever tried lime crime eyeshadow before, but I've always wanted to, especially that little gray scrape, gray scale palette they had, but everyone said it was like, eh. So this is called the Venus 3. It looks to be a pinky or purpley moment, if I can get it out of here. This retails for $38. Oh, I've seen this online before. So I'm gonna take the little thing out. So this is the inside of the palette. It is definitely like a purpley moment. I think the like kind of bronzy shimmer in here is a little bit misplaced. Also, my nails aren't done. I'm sorry, but I'm going to dye my hair probably. So I don't feel like doing my nails before I dye my hair and they get messed up anyways. But this is the palette. It's pretty cute. Like again, this is not my normal everyday go-to color scheme, but I could definitely like see everything other than these two shades right here. I would probably use all the time. So it's cute. This is definitely cute. $38 retail price for this one. Next up in here is something from Too Faced. Now, let me tell you this. This is not BoxyCharm's fault. This came out when I was working at Ulta. And everybody was buying it because it looks super cute. It's called Damn Girl Mascara. It retails for $26, which is more than their better than church mascara. <laughs> I love how I said damn, but not sex. <laughs> this gets so thick and clumpy and disgusting so like when it came out and i was working at ulta we had like a little display that was sent at the cash registers and stuff and it would just be an oopy goopy disgusting clumpy mess constantly so if you want thick layers of mascara this would probably work great for you but it, it's just a mess like the wand is really big and fluffy which i love but it's hard to fit it back in that too and it makes a little squishy mess on the top of it and it's just like chunky so i wouldn't recommend this mascara personally unless you're looking for that thick effect <laughs> um but like it's not boxy charms fault i definitely know why that's in a subscription box lastly in here we have something from kab which we had something from them before but i don't remember what it was i think it was a lip product of source so this is a hydrating lip oil it retails for 20 dollars let's see if it's tinted or if it's just a clear lip oil just a clear lip oil in a blue tube it looks like or is it a blue i think it's a blue because like in the wall there's an air pocket there it, it looks like it's a blue lip oil but this retails for $20. So that's everything in our base box this month. Honestly, it's a pretty good base box. Like other than this product, I'd probably use everything if I didn't know about this product being beforehand. So we have a full-size lip oil, a full-size Too Faced mascara, a full-size, well, is it full-size? It's like one of those little mini palettes from Lime Crime, which is $38 retail price. We have full-size setting spray, which I love, as well as a brush cleaning system. So 
overall this is what we got this month from the base box and that's actually pretty good like not disappointed in this one now let's see if the premium box lives up to the $35 price instead of $25 Okay guys, this is the $35 a month BoxyCharm box. I feel like we're flying through this video. Also, I forgot to mention the theme this month is lucky because St. Patrick's Day is like in the middle of the month. And I will also let you know the retail prices of these items as well. So, oh, we got more Too Faced. So here's the inside of this box. Right off the bat, I see two brands that I'm a fan of. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I just grabbed is from House Laboratories, which is Lady Gaga's brand, which can we all agree has been really disappointing overall for her to launch this. <laughs> this is... A rip lip liner it retails for $16. Let's see what color it is. It's in the color rule. And the lip liner color. Oh, the packaging on this isn't bad. Oh, it's a, it's a, just a brown lip liner color. And I don't like personally, I do, personally don't like the real pencils. I like a cream pencil or like a gel pencil type of deal. I feel like the regular stick pencils smell like childhood, which I don't like. And I also don't like sharpening them. And then a lot of times the wood pieces kind of hurt my sensitive waterline. So I'm not a fan of this kind of liner personally, but it is from House Laboratories, which is a well-known brand because it's Gaga's brand. Now let's go on to the big thing from Too Faced. Here, this is the Hangover Good To Go Coconut Water Pre and Probiotic Based Ingredients <gasps> Moisturizer. It's a coconut water moisturizer. Ooh, I thought this was a spray again. I would not be disappointed by that either. So this retails for $35. It has SPF 25 in it. So I really need to start using SPF on my face when I go out because I don't, but I don't want to tan. So I don't know why I'm not doing it. I'm going to smell it. I'm going to use this. So let's go ahead and like, actually $20, $35, retail price. That's about average for Too Faced, I'd say. It smells good. It kind of smells like, um, the, the coconut watery mist from Tarte, but a little bit lighter. It smells good. This smells good, you guys, and it feels good. It's more of those like oily based uh, moisturizers, not really like the thick kind. It smells good. Okay, I'm happy with this one. It's a little bit small, but like I know it's their full size, so. Oh, and they just put a black mark on the bottom of it so you couldn't resell it from a description box. That's pretty smart. All right, this is the next thing. I'm, I'm happy with this one. I'm happy with this first thing. <laughs> Second thing, we talked about a lip liner first. Next up is from Tarte. This is their Big Ego Mascara. I feel like we've gotten this before. Uh, we've gotten this in some subscription box before, but this is the Big Ego Mascara. And personally, from personal experience with this one, it came out around the same time as the other mascara from Too Faced. This dries out very quickly. It's beautiful for the first little week or so, and then it kind of dries out on you. So this retails for $23. It looks beautiful at first, but again, it dries out pretty quickly, but that's not BoxyCharm's fault. All right, next up in here is something from Beauty Diva London. It's a brush set. This retails for $48. Whoa, whoa, how many is in here? Four, so we have four piece brush that retails $48 from a brand I've never heard of before. These feel cheap too. They feel real cheap. I don't know who's getting these retail prices, Mr. Mrs. Beauty Diva London. That's an expensive price for these. But this is what the brushes look like. They're a cute shape. I'm not a fan of the orange handle myself. I know I'm orange and I wear a lot of orange eyeshadow, but orange stuff I'm not a fan of unless it's like a really cute Halloween decoration. And I know these are black and orange, so I should like it, but I'm just not feeling it. I mean, this is kind of a cute angled brush. It'd be really good for a tight shading or a liner under the lower lash line. I don't know. I'm just kind of blown away by the fact that these retail for $48 and they feel like Dollar Tree brushes, brushes. Sorry, I know I'm being kind of harsh today. So it looks like we have two things left in this box. So let's go to this first thing, which is from Rowan. I've never heard of this brand before, but you can let me know if you have, if you like them or not. So this retails for $26. It is a Kiss My Liquid Lip Balm in the shade Charlie, which looks like a cute color. Ooh, oh, that's weird. A lip balm, I think of like a balm stick deal. This is like a lip gloss kind of deal. So here is this one, I know it says kiss my liquid lip balm, but like I, I, when I think balm, I just think of like a stick thing. This is a cute color. Um, so this is the next thing here retails for $26. Lastly in here is something from Glow Skin Beauty. It is the Beta Clarity BHA uh, Drops. So here is this item up close. It retails for $48, which is really expensive. 
And it says it's a clarifying serum to help improve the appearance of texture, draw out impurities, and minimize the look of pores with retinol, glycolic acid, and silicic acid. Silicic acid. <laughs> I'm not a skincare channel, you guys. Um, but this is the next thing in here. So this is the last item in the thing. We have one skin carry item. Well, it's two skin carry items if you count the lip balm too. But let's go over everything we got in the premium box. So we have a little glow drop serum here, a moisturizer that smells really good from Too Faced. I'm really happy with this one. I can't wait to use it tonight later on. The Big Ego Mascara in full size from Tarte, a full size lip liner from House Laboratories, a Kiss My lip balm oil thing, and then a four piece brush set. Honestly, out of all this stuff in here, because this is everything that we got, the brush set is like, there's no way that's $48 retail value. What are they made out of? Does it say? It, no, it's cruelty free, so it's synthetic fibers. It's $48. Nothing about that screamed luxury to me, but everything else in here I'm happy with. I just know this dries out fast, but like if I didn't already use it before, I wouldn't know. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know which box you think was better. Looking at the products, I feel like if I didn't love this moisturizer, like if I wasn't really ready to use this, I would say the base box is worth it because you get a full-size mascara, you're getting a brush cleaner, you're getting a setting spray and a palette, and then what's the last thing? It was a lip oil. So that's a lot of stuff. So anyways, I think both of them were pretty good this month, way better than last month. I don't know what's going on last month, but I'm happier now. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.